I worked a long time on the meteorites, but they take even more chances. And, oh, every day he's somewhere in the desert and in this place in India and over here in, in Morocco or Oman or Australia. So he's uh, the, the top meteorite man, in my opinion, right now. It's fact. I think he is. But do, at, two years ago, at that time, you were the guy that everybody was uh, in admiration with, that everybody wanted to do the same thing. Do you realize that? You can't walk here five meters without being stopping. <laughs> well, it's been, the meteorites have been very good to me, to all of us, Mike, Louie, Alan, and we all started with just a little bit, a box, a few things, and years and years of working, and now Mike has some of the very best pieces in the world in here. I mean, they really are. Hey, Roman. And, but he works all day, every day, it's just like Louie and Alan and Steve. It, this takes over your life. You just fall in love with meteorites, and you're forever hooked with meteorites. You're just, love it. You want to sleep with them, you want to be by them, you know? Sure. Do you realize that some people are now uh, searching for meteor rights because of you? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I bought my I bought my first meteorite from Bob Haig, and within a year I had started my own company. And now I've sold millions and millions worth of meteorites. Yes. And we've worked, we live nearby. We, I walk over to his house, he shows me something really great, and, we share information. We all share information but to make it better and funner. Who is the model of who? Who is the... Well, I want to be like Mike now. <laughs> but it, it was I don't know. I don't know if you want to go to prison or... <laughs> but been there. Don't have been there. But um, at that time when we start, when you mm -hmm. start, when you were a beginner, yeah. uh, you would admire him? Of course. Of course. You know, I mean, I, I, I got his first catalog and I was reading it every day I was in the university here in Tucson. I wasn't listening to the to the professor. I was looking at meteorites and trying to see which one I could buy, you know. Ten dollars and twenty dollars is all I could afford at the time. I had no money for that. But uh, it became an obsession and now I've been to 70, 72 countries. I've been to Africa 55 times. Uh, even this year in November and December I went to Asia five times. But at that time, you bought ten dollars meteorites. Yes, in fact, the and first. And now, now, how much do you, do you sell the meteorites you've got? The the, the high price. Since yes, have... since yesterday, I've sold eighty thousand dollars. Just since yesterday, here, two days. And, and the, and the, the biggest the biggest piece I ever sold was six hundred thousand to the Royal Ontario Museum in Canada. I sold it to the Canadian government. Uh, palisite. We found a large palisite. Me and my partners in Canada. And we sold the largest piece to the Canadian government as a national treasure of Canada. And they went and found it. You know, it's one thing to like to buy something, but he went to the the, the little town and had metal detectors behind jeeps and motorcycles and, and searched and searched for years, and they found the best one. So it didn't just happen in a dream. You have to work really hard. It's it's not the one from the police video camera. No, 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 this is a this different is one. Spring okay. water. That's You're still looking for this one? Oh, yes. <laughs> what, for, for, There's for me, Mike is really the new Indiana Jones. Absolutely. Of the 2012 century. Fire. I agree. For now. He's a new Indiana Jones, really. He, as, as soon as he heard a meteorite that falls somewhere, one day after this, Mike Farmer is on the pace. He's on the pace. <laughs> no, really, it's, he's he's first. He, he's it's true. Is, there is a, a meteorite fall in Spain. Uh, we knew French people. We knew we knew the story, and we wait for one, two weeks. Two days after, he was on the plane. And he <laughs> found some pieces in Spain, and we are French, and we were we were not on the plane. So he, he's really the new Indiana Jones now. So who is you? Are the first meteorite? Ah, uh, yeah. And I think that Mike is definitely the new. He has the the crown, you know. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> But he didn't, he worked his way to the top, trust me. Yeah, he, he worked his way. And everybody agrees, I think around the world, honestly, nobody works harder at it than Mike. And he's doing very well, and clearly a happy guy, you know? I think it's been good to everybody. The meteorites have been really good to everyone. Yeah. So uh, how, how often can you do a job that you love, you know? Digging up treasure. I love to find treasure. 
sometimes we buy it, sometimes we find it, and. Uh, and for how long you, the ten the ten dollars meteorite? How uh, when it was? It was seventeen years ago. And now six years ago. My largest piece, but. So it's doing good for everybody. That's what I mean. And the the quality of the pieces that Mike has, uh, they're some of the best in the world. They really are some of the best in the world. And any museum would be happy to buy, and they do buy and trade. And because these pieces didn't come from museums, these pieces came from going out and getting them. And now everybody wins, and museums have pieces, researchers, everything. You, you, you. Look at this. As an example, this. We purchased this a few months ago from Russia. We had it processed, cut up, and yesterday I sold four and today I sold two. These are almost 20,000 each. So, quality sells. Everybody wants them very quickly and they're almost sold out. I have empty places here because I sold all the pieces. So, and, and these are going to museums also, not just private collectors. Oh, this kilos? one's four kilos. Four this kilos is the largest. See, and that's a good price. It's a good price. That's why that's they're selling. That's a good price. Because a, 20, a piece that big of palisade with a class like that for $20,000 is a, is a good because price. Night, that's why he sold so many. So now, see, I'll come back later with some of my stuff and try to make a better deal, you know, it's a trade, what's uh, behind door number one or whatever. Are you, are you sometimes, uh, do you sometimes buy uh, pieces oh, from Oh, Michael? absolutely. We, we do a lot of business together back and forth. Well, usually, he only lives two kilometers from my house, so usually when I come back from overseas, he's the first one I call and he runs over quickly I, I mean, and looks run at over. all of them on the table. No, it's, it's like, it's so fun. It's a brand new, exciting thing that happened. And here's pieces that just yesterday were farther away than the move. Do I do this way? So, it's, it's always an adventure, it's always fun. The money is great. We, we're lucky. We're the luckiest guys. Well, it's, Louis, it's not everybody. really about the money, though. I mean, the money, of course, you have to pay the bills. Somebody has to pay the plane tickets. But, you know, usually I don't care about money. I like the adventure. Finding a stone, every time I find a meteorite now, I don't even want to sell it. You know, I don't care if it's worth $10 or $10,000. I want to keep it, you know. So, it's true. Yeah. It, it's the adventure of finding it is uh, and the And to hold best. something that, that, for example, one week before was on the other side of the moon and you reach down and touch it for the first time it's you can't describe that feeling you know it's, it's unbelievable these are like our toys you know and we get to we play with them we love them expensive and, toys no yeah but but they they because of what they are they're they're so much not only are they like a treasure and they're valuable but because they're their samples from the stars and the moon and the places, it, it makes our life better and richer. It's, well, it's fun. We're learning about who we are and where we came from and uh, inside your body, the minerals that make up your body were stardust. You know, for example, here you have two pieces of Mars. You have 165,000. You have a big, this is a large new moon rock. This is 300,000. And it's uh, are, are, are you both speaking? I have a lot of rocks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. Yeah, you say yeah. And you say yeah. yes, but in a different way. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, you know, yes. But we take, we put all the money back in rocks. I, actually, I prefer my money to be in this form. Right. What's, it's, it's a lot safer than the stock market, safer than gold and silver, and safer than money in the bank. For example, you know, I mean, I don't know, in America now, my bank pays me 1% if I'm lucky interest on money. I buy this rock and the next day I double my money on it. Tell me, that's good business. We, yeah, we, we, well, we're very much, say Mike, Louis, Alan, we, we sell meteorites but, and make money, but we take the money and put it back. But we love the stones. Yeah. I have, I have so many pieces in my collection that I don't care how much money you give me, they're not for sale. But they they are, become family. They have no and value. It's he, yeah, family. he also, and, and there's a lot of stones in his collection that I would really like, and he just laughs when I ask I for them. I want to sell them. It's like my children. You'll you never get it back. Them. You'll never get the stone back. So that's why it becomes, they're like family members, you know, all our little alien friends. You know? It's, it's kind of true. 
And if you go to Mike's house, there's meteorites in the by the bed. There's meteorites by the table. There's Everywhere. meteorites here, and the same at my house. And you'll see, it's the same. It really takes over your life. And I got to admit, selling pieces today, every time we've sold one, I really don't like it. I mean, of course, I need the money to pay bills, but. It does hurt when you package it up and uh, it goes out the door. You know, it's like, oh, I really want to keep that one. But, yeah. Really can't great go. pieces. Man. Yeah. Great. Like the Mundurilla. Yeah. I have at least three people that want that piece right That's now. That's a sweet. It's almost looks, looks like, like a horse. A Trojan yeah. horse. Or Trojan horse. Yeah, these are very good pieces. Ooh, they, they take on a life of their own. Uh, which one is uh, the most uh, precious? The one you mm, oh. probably is just Mars. Actually, Mars. Can I, can these, I are, see that these are Moon and Mars rocks. These Great. are extremely valuable. We just have three hundred thousand, and it's yours. Right. That's a new moon rock that was found in Morocco. And there was a, a second piece, mm -hmm. and the second piece I was involved in. And so I have a slice of it, and then they found this one. So these are two of the best moon rocks discovered in years. And it's good to see it's, a complete one. I mean, it's absolutely yeah. crazy. This is the biggest moon rock I got in my hand. Yeah. yeah? Just after you use the one at 60 gram, I right. remember 20 years ago you gave me the 60 gram. This one is. Yes. And there is something, you know, I it's, know. it's oh. I yeah, found it's three. From the moon. So after, yeah. when you got a piece like this in your hand, after that you look at it differently yeah. in the sure. sky. So it's true. It's, you, you got something from there. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, Absolutely. It's, it's, I mean, it's crazy in the head. In, in, in Oman, I found three separate moon rocks myself. In 22 trips to Oman, I found more than a thousand meteorites. Three of them were confirmed moon rocks, and there's when you get out of the car and you see it on the ground. I mean, I, I'm on the radio with my partner, who's maybe two or three. I was like, I found a moon rock, you know, of course, screaming, "Oh my god, oh my god!" You know, and it's incredible when you, when you find such a thing, and then you look up at the moon, and, and it, it's real. Another thing, which is, that's a great piece, piece. Yeah. absolutely fantastic. How many is mine? Seven, 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 five. Seven, seven, five. Yeah. So that's that's. Uh, it's which people who are passionate. Really that's, it's a that's the best, biggest. Fantasy. That's the biggest it's complete. Like, yeah, this is a piece of Doe Four Eleven Eighty. I found this myself. This is a piece of moon rock. Uh, I found uh, about thirty pieces of this broken into. It was broken up in the desert, and even this piece alone is about thirty thousand. See, we're crazy for these rocks, you know? That's good. I Bro saw a meteorite fall! Broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine! <laughs> wow. It's, it's, a, it's, it's an interesting business, a very small business. We all know each other. As, you know, for example, this, this meteorite here. Did you see that, by the way? The new Gideon. No. This piece yesterday, I went to a dealer from South Africa. I saw him opening the box. He opened that. I said, it's mine. I bought it. Five seconds after he took it out of the box, it was sold to me. Now it's here. <laughs> That's an great. That is an incredible, incredible thing. Another thing which is very pleasant, that, Mike, it's a kind of priceless piece, the one from the moon, and he took it out and he it in your hand like this. It's, it's, there is, it's something between us. That you're, you're welcome to hold it. Right. Okay, Who knows each other? Be there is, so normally it people are just Christ, you know, don't no, search. And he, he's throwing out. We trust each other. We, we, we have faith <laughs> in each other. <laughs> it's, 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 now you know what happens. Now you have the moon trust. It's going to be fair. It's a good thing. It's a good and at 300,000, that's a bargain price. If, if, if it's sliced into pieces, then you're looking at closer to six or 700,000. Little pieces? There's there's small pieces. Can get a small Sorry? For example, this piece I'm asking 300,000. That's the cash yeah. price. If we were to slice it up and cut it into pieces Tomorrow. like you see there, <laughs> then the price would go to six or 700,000. So it's it's yeah, uh, so quite a spectacular find. It's everybody it's can everybody can participate. Yeah. 
you might have to go to Morocco, or you might have to go to like Oman. It's kind of puzzle. No, that's the best thing. Even if you don't have the money to buy, you can you can go look, and then you can be a part of it. These slices, that's what it looks like inside.